Hello, lovely creatives. Welcome to day 32 of our daily creative practice. Wow, moving into the second month. And this month, I think, I think I am going to get into a moleskin journal and just create pages and practice and play with paints and different types of things. We'll probably do some collage. We'll probably do uh, all kinds of different mediums. Just going to get into all kinds of mischief this month. So let's just dig in to this moleskin. Of course, mine has lines. It's called Cashier's Collection and it's the only one I had on hand. I've got some other bigger journals, but I wanted this to be doable and measurable for our 20 minutes a day. So what we're gonna do is just do a spread a day. I think that's gonna work, hopefully. And last night, I went ahead and gessoed my pages, just some white gesso. I don't really mind that it has lines on it, but you might. So if you prefer a different kind of sketchbook, please, please do that. But this is what I had. And so today we're just going to make some playful marks with our... Um, watercolors and I have a number two and a number four watercolor brush so let's just see what mischief we can get into I'm going to wet some of the watercolor Let me put this brush down get it nice and juicy And watercolors have kind of always been my nemesis. I've always been a little bit of afraid of them because I never could make them work exactly like I saw other people making them work. So I kind of just stayed away from them. So I think I'm going to get some of these purples and blues wet also while I'm at it. So we can have some other colors here okay back into this pink and the first thing I'm going to do is just draw a little line then I'm going to come in and lay my brush down and just create some leaves, just letting the brush do the work. And see if you press harder, the leaves get bigger. So that's kind of nice. So let me get into this purpley color and do the same thing here. Maybe make a more squiggly line. And the harder you press, remember the bigger it is. So I've pretty much got my top leaf already done by pressing so darn hard. So just come in here. And this is, I guess this would be called wet on dry paper. It probably would be easier if I turned my paper instead of trying to turn my wrist. So let's try our last color with this number two brush. I kind of know what I want to create. I'm just not seeing it quite yet. So just keep practicing. Thank you. 
kind of cold. I'm going to come in here and see if I can just put some secondary color in there. And that kind of looks better, doesn't it? And it's, I was using a lot of water, so the water kind of takes a hold of watercolors and allows it to travel up the places where it's wet. That's kind of cool. Let's see if it works over here. Yeah, it does. Kind of gives us some variation. Pink will get into that purple somewhat. Ooh, that kind of looks better. I'm kind of liking where we're going with that. liking that one. So let me try with my bigger number four brush here and see what I can get into. Just get into your journal and start making some watercolor leaf stems. I think those are fun. I think it's something, it kind of feels like meditation to me. It kind of feels like that I can get in here and paint these all day. And remember, it's just about practice and there is no perfect at this point in time. And I think learning the watercolors and learning how they react and learning the brushes that you like the best and learning the colors you like the best and what colors blend with each other when they're still wet. I am loving all of this. So I'm just gonna continue on today and fill up both pages and see where we can go with this. And I saw some splatters there. I wonder if I can make some splatters. Let's see how that works. Ah, that's kind of cool. Just dip it in, dip it in the paint. And don't get too carried away, Rebecca. That looks pretty cool. I'm happy with this. So I hope you just get, find some time, 20 minutes, to get into your creative space today and start playing with some watercolor branches and see what you can come up with. And I would love to see your pictures. I would love to see what you're doing. I would love to have you tell me if you're liking this, if you don't like this, if you wanna learn something else, I am here for you. And I am, I, I need to know how I can inspire your creativity today. So I hope this inspires you somewhat. And I will be back tomorrow with a Sunday confession video. And it's going to be a good one, so you don't want to miss that. 
So get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. May joy be with you all. Thank you.